Hello and good morning, Acoustic Guitar Forum, or YouTube, depending on how you got to this uh, demo slash review. Uh, I'm going to demo uh, today, uh, review, depending on your point of view, uh, a uh, Cole Clark Angel 2 uh, guitar. I'm going to conduct the demo entirely with the capo in the fifth position, uh, fifth fret. Just kidding, that was kind of a dig at uh, a thread on Acoustic Guitar Forum where somebody ranted about capos being used on a demo. I won't be doing that. Anyway, um, this is um, a 2016 Cole Clark uh, Angel 2 um, guitar. It's a GA sized body, long scale, 25 and a half uh, inch uh, scale. Nut width is just a little bit under um, uh, one and three quarters. Um, it's a kind of an odd measurement they use. It's it's between one and eleven sixteenths and one and three quarters. Uh, string spacing again a little bit uh, under two and a quarter, uh, but a little bit over uh, two and three sixteenths. Um, the neck shape on the Cole Clarks and this one in particular is kind of a kind of a shallow C shape, I would say. Um, the newer ones I did test drive some 2019 and had kind of a little bit of a V in it. Um, normally, I prefer a little bit of a V. Um, what I have found with this particular guitar is the um, uh, with both the nut width, the string spacing, and the neck carve are very comfortable for me, um, and I'm very very sensitive to to those things. So I was pleasantly surprised with that. Um, body wise, this is a little bit larger body. I generally prefer. Um, a double O sized or smaller. Uh, lately I've been playing mostly just emerald guitars with a lot of comfort bevels and stuff. Um, so this was for me a much bigger guitar than I'm used to. I'm also, you know, it's got no bevel of any kind. So it's, uh, it was very noticeable at first uh, with the sharp edge here, but I acclimated, it, acclimated to it pretty quick. I haven't played a gig with it yet, but I did play a, an open mic last uh, weekend and it went very, very well. The Cole Clarks are made in Australia. Uh, Cole Clark was a, co a company founded by two men who worked for Mayton Guitars. One was the CEO. And they started Cole Clark with the idea, two basic ideas. One, they wanted to build it, build the guitars from all sustainable um, Australian grown woods. And the second thing that they wanted to do is they wanted to build the guitars from the ground up. To be, for, with the sole purpose of being guitars that amplified well. So they really, they came up with their own pickup system designed from the ground up specifically for that. I'd never heard of Cole Clark's until probably, I don't know, a year ago in an acoustic guitar forum thread, um, something about an open mic or just playing live and, um, you know, people talking about guitars that amplify well and guitars like Mayton, uh, Takamine and and then Cole Clark's were mentioned. So, um, for me personally, for the last several years, um, I've played a lot of really nice Martin guitars and other uh, smaller builder type guitars, Santa Cruz. Uh, had some Chrome Bowers, um, all great guitars. Um, and the biggest issue I had with all of those guitars, even though I loved them, was they didn't amplify well with the um, available pickup systems to put in there. I typically used K&K &K just because I like the minimalist approach uh, and no battery, um, so it's a passive pickup system. But I always found from my style of playing, which was finger style with no nails, um, it, it was kind of a muddy tone that needed a lot of help from amplifiers in order to, to brighten it up and make it sound good. Um, one of the banes of my existence was going to an open mic with just a guitar. Uh, almost to a T, the, the person running it could never get a good tone out of me. A couple, a couple of times, places I went to, they were able to, and, and in those cases, the sound systems were being run by guitar players who themselves were fingerstyle guitar players, so they knew exactly what needed to be done to get a good tone. 
but what I was really always looking for and desiring was a guitar that I could just waltz into nearly any open mic and with just the guitar and whatever the guitar had on it for onboard electronics, pickup systems, was to get a great tone out of. Uh, so, I, like I say, I've been playing uh, Emerald guitars for a few years, um, and I uh, really enjoy those. Still enjoy, I have two hanging on the wall behind you, um, but neither of those really accomplished that. So anyway, um, I started, uh, the local shop started carrying some Cole Clarks. I went and played a couple. They sounded okay, acoustically, not great, which is a kind of a com common complaint about the Cole Clarks, but amplified, they sounded incredible. My... Um, my yardstick as of late for uh, for a guitar is it needs to be able to be plugged straight into my Bose S1 system and with nothing more than whatever is on the guitar and the very limited uh, EQ of the Bose, it needs to sound great. So um, I took my Bose down, plugged the Cole Clark in, and without a doubt, it was hands down the best sounding amplified guitar I'd ever played in my life straight into the bow. So I was excited about that. Um, they do, really didn't have uh, a model down there that had new guitars. So I ended up, I looked around on the internet, on the uh, on Reverb, and I found this guitar used from a guy in Australia. Uh, he was offering to ship to the United States for just 75 bucks. So and the price was really good. So I snatched this one up. So 2016, the woods on this one are Australian blackwood which is the top sides and back. It's got a little bit of sap wood on there. It's an attractive uh, tone wood. Uh, the back, the Cole Clarks always do uh, a three-piece back, which is attractive. The neck is a Queensland maple, and then uh, the uh, headstock is uh, African blackwood as well. The um, fretboard and bridge are called she oak and it's a kind of a dark ro rosewood looking material certainly uh, with a really attractive abalone uh, inlays on them it, it has kind of a simple appearance but um you know it's a satin finish but it's a great guitar it's not the lightest guitar certainly um it's not super resonant right out of the gate um acoustically again uh but uh, it's certainly not bad um, my pick. So I'm going to play, I'm going to step up a little closer to the phone. I'm recording with just my, uh, Android cell phone. So bear that in mind. Anyway, acoustically without amplification. <laughs> picked with no nails. That's my faux strumming that I do with just my my uh, fingertips and nails pressed together. Um, so that's what the guitar sounds like. Um, Acoustically, for those who want to know, as someone else had posted recently, if you're looking for a guitar that sounds awesome, really, really nice, um, acoustically only, the Cole Clarks aren't for you. Uh, where these guitars do really, really shine is plugged in and amplified. So I'm plugged in via a Sennheiser um, wireless system. So uh, I'll show you real briefly. This is what the um, pickup system looks like. Uh, it's it looks like a barn door, a small barn barn door. Um, it's actually not a barn door as is usually a, you, what you consider. If you take that top plate off, there's actually just three small holes and then slots for the sliders. So it, it's still pretty solid wood under there. Um, it's very minimalist. Uh, the pickup system from the Cole Clarks are built from the ground up. It's a, th a three-way system. It has a suspended piezo 
uh, system under the bridge, uh, which picks up the low end. Then it has a soundboard transducer uh, attached to the soundboard, which picks up the middle. And then there's an internal mic, which picks up the high. The, uh, the system on top here consists of, you've got a blend switch between the bridge piezo and the soundboard. So you can go all piezo, uh, counterclockwise, clockwise all the way up would be all soundboard. You have a volume, you have the mic blend. This just blends in or out the microphone. And then you have uh, treble, mid and bass sliders. So right out of the gate, this is, um, this is with about um, a little more than 50% bridge, uh, a little more face, a little less bridge, I should say. Volume, a little around half, and a microphone, a little, a little over half. With uh, treble and bass are flat, mids are top dialed back just a bit. <laughs> S1 settings um, are my usual little bit of reverb, bass and treble are at about 25 to 30 percent, and the uh, gain is at the at the 50 percent detent, which is the sweet spot for for that. So that's a pretty good amount of, of sound. It's a great sound coming out of here. Hopefully, it translates well to the phone. But with a pick right into that, that is awesome for me. sound full sound even across the strings the problem with me and how I usually play most of the songs I play I rarely ever used to play with a pick I've been playing with a lot more lately but so here's what I get when I play with finger style So very dark and muddy, you know, and that's that's what I would get going into most open mics because most open mics, people that run them, they they set their systems up for pick strummers because that's what most people who play at open mics do. Most people everywhere play with a pick, so it's their systems are set up to to uh, amplify that sound well. And and when you come in and you're playing just finger style, even if you're strumming finger style it's very muted and dark sounding um so but what i like about the cole clark what i love about the cole clark i boost the volume up to about three quarters i bump the uh treble up to a bit and dial back the bass a bit <laughs> sound um, this is this is literally the guitar I wish I could buy the Cole Clark pickup system and put it in every guitar that I own it is an active system you know so I know a lot of people don't like uh, batteries in in their guitars and that's a uh, uh, that's a legitimate thing um, I'm formally one of them but for me it, it's all about the amplified tone these days uh, I have a acoustic duel with my wife and uh, whether we're playing a gig or, or uh, just playing an open mic to be able to get really good sound um, with regardless of whether I'm playing with a pick or strumming or finger picking with just my fingers is very important for me to be able to do on the fly. So yeah, 
really happy with it. Um, it's a well-made guitar. Um, the things that I don't like about the guitar, um, pretty much the only thing I don't like is it came with these really large strap buttons. Um, and uh, I couldn't even get, the, the, you know, a stiff um, uh, leather strap over them. So I, I changed them out immediately for my preferred Diodario Planet Waves brass buttons. And then um, I recently, on a brief aside, I uh, went to the uh, Diodario um, strap lock buttons system, which is a really nice system. The one downside of this system is it's, this outer button is very loose, so you can really hear it with, uh, you know, if you're moving if you're moving the guitar, guitar around at all while you're amplified, you hear it. So that's kind of a downside. That was mentioned in some of the reviews on it. But, you know, if you hold it steady, you're fine. And I just turn the volume pedal off between. The other thing I didn't like about uh, these guitars is they do put the heel, uh, the strap button in the heel instead of in the my preferred tailor position on the neck. The reason for that, I believe, is because they really scallop this neck down so it's a very thin area. So they decided to put it there. So kind of a minor, both are minor things. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention that's, that's different about the Cole Clarks, uh, when they built them from ground up, they, they use, a, I believe what's called a classical guitar build where this neck basically is a solid block all the way through. So there is no joint system here at the, the neck to the body. It's actually part of it that comes all the way through, which, uh, they do for stability, there's some concern online with reviews that people don't like that because if it ever needs a neck reset, doing taking care of that is going to be problematic. As far as I'm concerned, that solid piece all the way through, why would you ever need a neck reset? There's no, there's no pivot point there for it to ever move, but time will tell. They're not um, inexpensive guitars. The, um, the Cole Clark... Angel 2, brand new, go for, you know, retail for upwards of $2,600, $2,700. So you're up into the premium guitar category. Um, used, they can be found down. I found this one for under $1,500, used but in mint shape. Um, I love it. I'm suddenly getting noise from that. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, great guitar. I love it. Amplifies really, really well. Uh, I'm going to use it uh, at a gig here coming up uh, in a few weeks. I, like I say, I have used it uh, at the open mic and it performed very well. So, anyway, uh, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed the review uh, and uh, I'll see you, see you around on the forums. Take it easy.